Today at Chickens by the Lake, Paula Dean wonders when it's going to get warmer so she can get more worms because she doesn't get enough to eat, she said. And then uh, little Peanut over here, she's like, Paula Dean, can I be your friend? Please? Please? I just want to be your friend. And Paula Dean's like, no way. I'm the rooster. Paula Dean's like, no way. I'm nobody's friend. I'm, I'm my own friend. And that's it. And I'm the boss. <laughs> Marshmallow's like, oh gee, I just wish I could get to the other side of the fence. Oh, maybe one day. Oh. <sighs> I must complain. Butter, she just shakes, she just shakes her head at them. They're all a bunch of nuts, she says. Yeah, if they could just be as pretty as me, then maybe they'd get somewhere. And that's what's going on with chickens by the lake. All hoping for spring soon. <laughs> yeah hey girls and then we have Jetro here he's like I just want to kill someone please let me let me kill someone he's tried <laughs> okay you guys I'm making Bruce's lunch two hot dogs and this week I will be challenging myself to put a valentine on each of his lunch. Every time I make his lunch every week. <laughs> Frank's a lot for being my valentine. To Bruce, love you forever, Michelle. I'll just take that right on there. Okay, Bruce's lunch. He has two hot dogs, peaches, some Fritos. I'll put the lid on. <laughs> and a little bit of treat. A little bit of the candy in the candy jar. Two of these. What are they? Rolls. Like they're fruit roll-ups from Trader Joe's that we got from Sammy. Was it Sammy? I think it's yeah, Sammy. That's Bruce's lunch for work today. Let's go. Sandy's. I almost said Coco. That's Sandy's hot dog. Yeah. If you can, dedicate a week to putting a Valentine in your husband and kids' lunch. Yeah. Give it a try. Tell you, it sure sounds like spring. With all the geese across the road. They're all over there. As soon as I put the camera on, they stop. Hello, everyone. Well, the girls are doing good, as you can see. In death row. They sure are ready for spring, though. Yeah. They're getting a uh, little cooped up feeling. So I'm cooking dinner tonight and I thought maybe you'd like to join me. I got uh, some water here and I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make stuffed uh, baked potatoes. So I'm going to soak some of my, I got to put some salt in that water. I'm going to soak some of my potatoes in salt water. Okay, you want some nice 
bigger potatoes. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to freeze some of these. So, uh, that's a nice big one. I'm going to do, I'm going to do four. Okay, so we're going to let them soak in the salt water for about 20 minutes. Okay, so over here, I'm going to fry up some bacon bits. Okay, so I have my cast iron here, and I'm just going to cut up some bacon. I'm cutting up quite a bit because I'm going to put it also on top of the potato but also inside the potato. These are going to be loaded. Yeah. So let me get my stove on here. So you're just going to cut them in small pieces. I'll be back when I once I get this going. I'll be back. Okay, there I got the bacon cut up and frying up. How can you not love the smell of bacon? Oh, I love the smell. It's my favorite perfume. <laughs> okay, to go with the double loaded baked potatoes, I'm making chicken fingers. So what you, I only got two breasts here. That's enough to feed four, four to five people. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm going to pound them flat. And uh, this is gonna make them very tender. Yeah. Once you get them flat, dry them as best as you can. Okay, now I'm going to cut them in strips. I use my uh, electric knife and I'm just going to cut them in strips. Not in the sink with soap. Okay. I'm going to get my dish out here.
dishes. Okay, it's the best thing you could cut anything on, even your meat, is a butcher block. All you need is a butcher block. Do cut, don't cut on plastic. If you, if some of the best cooks I watch only use a butcher block. I'm going to go and wash this down with some soap and water and it'll be all sterilized. Okay, all cleaned up. And then I will throw this right into the laundry. Throw it on the floor over there. And I'll put it in the laundry. There's our chicken. To our chicken, we're going to add some spices. this chicken up. As I'm doing this, I have my pizza stone, yes I said pizza stone, heating in the oven. I'm going to cook this chicken fingers on the pizza stone. Yes I am. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, Ton of barbecue spice, all purpose. And garlic plus. Okay. Then with your hand, you're going to coat them all in that. Let me wash my hands and I'll show you next. In my other pan here, I know I always say this, but I got what well, you can get at yard sales. I got these two pie, blue pie dishes for 10 cents each at a yard sale once. I'm going to use my uh, panko seasoned crumbs. I'm going to get a plate to put these on. This was a this was a thrift store haul. <laughs> thrift store plate. But everything I own is from the thrift store or yard sale. Okay. Now you're going to use some kind of creamy dressing. I have this and we didn't really like it that much. So I'm going to use this. 
You could use regular ranch. You could use any kind of Caesar cream. As long as it's cream dressing. And you're going to mix and coat your chicken in it. If you don't like a dressing like this, then do this with it. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there to get every last drop. Every last drop. Okay. So you're just going to mix this up with your wet hand. Okay. You got a wet hand and a dry hand. Okay. If you want, you could do this in the morning and let it marinate in the fridge until you're ready to cook it. It's another good idea. Okay, take your pieces of chicken, put them in your crumbs. I'm going to put four in. Take your dry hand and coat them. Coat them as best as you can. They don't have to be perfect because they will be yummy. If you want to double coat you can because you got a I got enough stuff in there to double coat I might double coat them just move them over here for a minute take your wet hand Put a couple more in there. I'm going to go do this. If you want a double coat, just take it, put it in the liquid. That's called double, double dipping and it's legal. It is legal. No matter what anybody says, double dipping is legal and fine, okay? Don't try to tell me it's not, because it is legal to double dip. Shake it off, put it on your plate. I'll be back when I get all this done. Okay, I'm going to take the chicken and put it in the fridge and go back to the potatoes. Okay, let's get this in the fridge. Okay, so what I want to do is dry those potatoes right off. Get rid of those things. sure they're nice and dried okay and we're gonna stick them with the knife poke them we're gonna put these on our pizza stone for about 50 minutes in the oven at really high temperature 
I think mine's at 450, but I can't, I can't read my temperature on my stove. Let me get these on and I'll show you. Okay, they're on the pizza stone. The pizza spo stone is supposed to look like that. You never should wash your pizza stone. Just scrape it off. So that's going to go about 50 minutes in the oven. If you don't have a pizza stone, put it right on the rack of your oven. Okay, while our potato's cooking, I have some onion that I can throw in there to use up to go inside the uh, double baked potato. Stuffed potato. What do you call it? Double stuffed potato. I got this onion here. I'm going to fry this up for a bit and then I'm going to add some garlic, fresh garlic from from our, our garden. It's right, we've grown here. Yeah. I'm going to get some garlic in there once, a bit, once the onion is almost cooked. Grown by Bruce. We ordered a bunch of seeds online that will be coming. It always happens to me. They always fly everywhere. That will be coming soon. Yeah. I'm going to do two garlic cloves. Oh, sticky, sticky stuff. Yeah, so when our seeds come in the mail, I'll show you. We're excited for spring and starting to grow. Yeah, we are excited. Bruce will start all his own seeds. We won't buy. I'm trying, we're trying not to buy any from you know, any but the ones we grow because um, we don't want any chemicals on them or anything. We've been thinking hard about our garden this year. Bruce is going to put his last window in the greenhouse so he can get his seeds started in there and not in the house. Oh my god, this stuff is so sticky. Rub your fingers on your stainless steel sink. It'll take the stickiness and the smell of garlic off your fingers. You're welcome. <laughs> Just let me give my onions a, a stir here. Okay. How easy is that, eh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to let my onions cook a few more minutes before I put the garlic in. Because I don't want to leave the garlic in long. This bacon grease will come in handy today. I'm going to throw this garlic in now. Oh, smells wonderful. I'm only going to do about two minutes with the garlic and then remove the pan from the heat. Aroma. 
shut the heat off. Just do it for two minutes. After a minute and minute or so, I'm going to scoop it up back into here, and I'm going to be putting this into our loaded baked potato, our loaded stuffed baked potato. Break baking grease will just add more flavor. Okay, we got our bacon, we got our onions. Okay, guys, after 50 minutes of our potatoes in the oven on the uh, just gonna back you up a bit. On the uh, pizza stone, I'm going to take them out for a minute, put them in this pan, and I want to put some oil on them and some salt and put them back in the oven for 10 minutes. So I'm not going to use olive oil, I'm going to use a heavy frying, a heavier oil like vegetable oil. So just put a little bit of oil on them. That should be enough for each one. Make sure they're all oiled up really good. And I'm going to put some salt. If you have sea salt, put sea salt on. That thick salt. We're going to put them back in the oven for 10 minutes. I also, after 25 minutes, switched them over to confection oven. You don't have to do that. Okay, 10 minutes and they'll be done. In my pan here, I'm going to put some garlic butter. You can use regular butter if you don't have garlic butter. I'd say about a stick of garlic butter. I have, I have that in this piece here. I'll use up. I'm going to put half a stick of cream cheese. I'm just going to put half of this in. And then the rest of this sour cream, which is about half a cup. I'm going to put this on the burner to get it melting. You want it warm, okay? You don't want to put that on your potatoes unless it's melted down. Okay? Ok, 
Okay. This oil I have left in my pan, I'm going to drizzle, drizzle on the chicken fingers. Just to make them nice when they're cooking on the, uh, the pizza stone. melting down real fast. <laughs> Now I'm going to put my chicken fingers on this pizza stone. I'm going to do eight minutes each side and see how they do with that. It's a long one. I might turn the heat down a bit. I had the heat real high for the potatoes. I might turn it down a little bit. gonna fit you. Okay. A couple more small pieces. Okay, in eight minutes I'll flip them over. Okay, I'm gonna cut these and work with these while they're hot. You don't want to let them cool off. I'm doing is taking the inside and throwing it in my uh, my bowl here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of in there, just a little bit. Oh, that's hot. I'm gonna go do that and get it all the inside of the potato in my bowl. Okay, I got them all cleaned out. I'm going to put them to the side here and then I'll bring this up here and I'll show you how we're going to mix this up. Okay. Okay, so we're going to add some of our butter in cream cheese. I don't know how much I'm going to use of this. I don't know if I'll need it all. Okay. I'm 
just going to mix it up a little bit. You don't want to beat them up like mashed potatoes. You just want to uh, give them a nice soft filling. Yeah, you don't want to use your mixer. I don't think I have a potato masher. <laughs> I thought I did. I think I can add a little more. I think I can add it all. Yeah. I thought I had too much, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Now I'm going to add my onion and garlic. delicious you guys yes yes ma'am that's gonna be delicious okay now I'm gonna add my some of my bacon already. Leave, save some for the topping of the potato. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Give it a good mix. Okay. So we're going to fill these potatoes back up. And I am going to lick this. Mm-hmm. 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 That's good stuff. Okay. Now I'm going to shred. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to fill them back up. What am I thinking? <laughs> I got to shred cheese. What did I do with my spoon? Oh, it's in the bowl. I'm just going to go fill these back up. Probably, probably we'll do it over the bowl, which is, would be a smart idea. Fill them up. Okay, I'll be back when I get them all filled up. Okay, I got them all filled up. Now I'm going to shred some cheese to put on top. Then we're going to put them back in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to put this extra bacon on top of the potatoes. These are magnificent, guys. If you're having Super Bowl party, there you go. You can do these. I gotta shred up some cheese now. Let me shred up the cheese. Okay. 
Oh, I don't think I was filming that whole time. Okay. Okay, I shredded the cheese and put the cheese on top. I'm going to take the chicken out of the oven. I, I cooked it about 25 minutes. I like my chicken uh, well done. What can I say? Yeah. Might be too long for some people, but I like to have my chicken well done. Come out good. Nice. Out of two two uh two chicken breasts that weren't that big, I got all this all these chicken strips. That's enough to to feed uh three people. Okay. I'm going to put my, my potatoes back on the pizza stone. Yeah, it's got crumbs from the chicken on it, but that's okay. All I want to do is melt this cheese on top. Okay, back in the oven they go 10 minutes probably, I don't know. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Oh no, don't tell me I put my clippers in the sink. Yep. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I can't help it. Food gets me excited. What can I say? I'm never going to change. So we'll get used to it. Bacon here left. Just a little bit. And then I have some green onion that I'm going to cut up with my. I knew
for my new kitchen chairs. <laughs> Hello, baby. Look at that. You want to give it a try with me? Let's give it a try. Okay, I don't have the best lighting, okay? But here's my dinner. Let's give it a try. Okay, I thought of a name for him, but it's a name I want to, it's a name I want to, if I don't think I'll ever get another animal, but if I do, I'm going to name my animal this. And then I really liked one of the names that you guys chose. And uh, if I do get another animal, which I don't think I will, I will give the animal this name and I'll take the name that I loved the best out of the comments. So his name is Biscuit. <laughs> Welcome Biscuit to dinner. Boop, boop. He's a busted biscuit. Look at his stomach, eh? <laughs> so his name is Biscuit. So the person that put the comment, let's try this. They put a comment saying how you pronounce his name is Cloney, like in George Cloney. So she said, I would name him George Cloney. <laughs> so she won for the name, but right now, his name is Biscuit. Like a Biscuit. <laughs> mm. Those chicken wings are delicious. Let's try the potato. Mm. Mm. It's hot. Mm. Oh, hot. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's a cherry one, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was a regular one. So I got a couple, um, a few, um, in the cards in my mailbox. Um, sympathy cards for Coco. I'm not going to be able to read them, but I read them, but I can't read them on camera or I'll start to cry. So I just want to thank Kim Schnauzer, mom, for the card. Trish Yolanda and Miranda. I want to thank you guys for sending me a card. And there was a little, um, like poem in here from, I think it was from. Yolanda, I think. I'm not sure. But I read it. And if I read those cards to you, I'll cry. So I hope you don't mind. I just want to say thank you for for thinking of me. Still, every night, I sit here and cry. Mm -hmm. I miss him so much. Oh, I miss him so much. It hurts. 
Mm-hmm. This hurts. Oh, that potato's so hot. <laughs> So thank you for the beautiful cards, you guys. I've been coloring. <clears throat> this is the one I'm working on right now. I've switched over from uh, snow to kitchens. <laughs> this is the one I'm working on right now. I colored this one and I don't like it. I wish I would have done the, uh, the, I wish I would have done the, uh, the wallpaper in the back. I wish I would have done, done it a brighter color. I, sh I should have. I don't like this one, but I'll show you. It's just too dark for me. Yeah. And I thought I colored another one. Oh, I lost track. I've been enjoying coloring. I got a puzzle and I got it all sorted. I got the uh, the um the end sorted out and the colors all sorted, but I haven't started it yet. Because I've been enjoying my coloring so much. <laughs> And then I sit here and I think of Coco and I just sit here and I color and I cry. Mm -hmm. My heart hurts so bad for him. Okay. I'm going to freeze a few of these and I'll show you how when I'm done my eat, done eating my dinner. I'm just going to put them on a cookie tray in the freezer overnight and then they'll freeze solid and then I can put them in a, a, a cereal bag mm -hmm. and just pop a couple in the oven when I want one to serve with another meal. So I'll be back later after I eat to show you that and say goodnight. We biscuit. Hey, me biscuit. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna freeze them like that. I'm I'm only freezing three because when I cook, I cook for two days. So this will be tomorrow's dinner too. Yeah. Good night, everybody. I'm gonna go finish up my mess here. It's not a lot, and we'll see you guys soon in the next one. Thanks for coming out and watching, you guys.